You ready? Okay. Hi guys and welcome. I'm pretty sure most of you are here to find out Porsche GT3 RS Mark II's lap time on the Nuevo Queen Nordschleife, but first a small disclaimer. I wasn't able to attend the full lap record session by Porsche which took place roughly for three hours, but I only witnessed one and a half lap. And in fact, in that lap that I witnessed completely, driver made a small mistake. <laughs> No. Well, probably like half a second or a second. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, he went over the curb, huh? Yeah, exactly. Uh, a bit too, too much. Too much. <clears throat> so we can pretty much conclude that the car did a faster lap time before or actually even after because Porsche is coming back tomorrow. So stay tuned to find out more. And finally, I didn't have any proper measuring equipment with me, but I only used the data exported from the camera. If you so can we have to ex see. export the data. What time it was? 9.45. 30. And when you said stop, we had 9.52.28. Now that we know the start and the finish time, we can conclude that the lap time was an impressive 6 minutes and 58 seconds. But wait a minute, you didn't even see the car at the finish shot, right? Well, if you're new to the lap timings and lap records on the Nürburgring, you will find it pretty strange that the start and the finish line are roughly 200 meters apart. This has something to do with the track layout, the history of lap timings, and most importantly, the safety. But in this case, the main question is, how can you guess a lap time if you cannot even see the car crossing the finish line. Well, here's the thing. All the finishes of lap records have one thing in common, and here for the illustration is a GT2 RS lap record, so the car is at the end of the lap, here's the finish line that the car is about to cross, and after that, because of the ideal line, car will go over the curbstone roughly one second after crossing the finish line. And this happens pretty much with every car, so here for the illustration is a GT3 RS lap record by Manti Racing. So finish line, and going over the curbstone. Now, how does this work in the case of the Mark II GT3 RS? So, one more time, here's the video. No. As you can probably hear, there is a small delay between when the car goes over the curbstone and when Bruno the photographer takes a picture. So, let's have a closer look at the audio. Here's where the car goes over the curbstone. No. I say now to take the picture and after that shortly, Bruno takes the picture. So. At this point, this makes us believe that the lap time would be 6 minutes 58 seconds, but the car goes over the curbstone here, which is actually one second before the Bruno takes the picture, makes it 6 minutes 57, and again, minus one second roughly when the car goes over the finish line, makes it 6 minutes 56. But there is one very important thing, if we look at the position where we were standing, which is right here, and the car, the finish line is roughly 250 meters further away. And if we take into consideration that the sound travels with 343 meters per second, uh, we should subtract another roughly, let's say, 0 0.7 seconds. But for the well, convenience, let's just subtract another second. And this brings us to a lap time of roughly 6 minutes and 55 seconds. And in addition to that, a friend of mine, Knut Eric, was supporting us by timing with a stopwatch. Too early, I think. Yeah, maybe. To finalize, I just like to remind you that I could be wrong because maybe there was an even faster lap driven that day and maybe I made the mistake somewhere. But when I used this method previously at the GT2 RS, I only was off by one second because I didn't take the speed of sound into account. Finally, I just want to say that however you look at it, a Sub 7 is just an amazing lap time, especially when you take into consideration that the Mark 1 GT3 RS was doing 7 minutes 12 making this car almost 20 seconds faster, and which is even more impressive is that the car is only about 10 seconds slower than the GT2 RS. So if you're a track enthusiast and are still sad because you didn't get a slot allocated for the limited edition GT2 RS, well, don't be, because this car is just as amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed this explanation, and if you're new to this channel and like the Nürburgring, then make sure to subscribe and stay a bit longer to find out what I do during the day in the rest of this video. Hello. You're running a stopwatch? Yes. Okay. That's cool. Well, let's see. Good morning, people. Good morning. How are you doing? 
Good. Looks like I'm ready late for the party because I was getting breakfast. <laughs> you got a timestamp of the car crossing the line. Anyway, good morning, comrades. Um, today, and actually tomorrow as well, is one of those days when there's a huge Porsche truck parked at TF Car Park. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the Nürburgring Car Park. This is Porsche Motorsport truck, a mobile lift, tire warmers. Why? To warm up the tires, put the car on the lift, put the fresh tires on and go on the track for a lap record. There are some timing beacons uh, over there and yeah. You can guess it, some lap record attempt. Lap record attempt is probably a wrong word because lap record is currently 6.11. But is there a GT3 RS Mark II going out there? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I was really, 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 really hoping it would be 9.19 and I hope it will still come because I presume Porsche is feeling hot breath in their neck from the Project One, Valkyrie, mm, Senna, maybe, probably not because the car is probably maybe even a bit too low. So I hope they will come here and do something crazy, but at this point it's GT3 RS. Uh, tomorrow they will also have the track in the evening, so maybe there will be 919, or it's just like a backup plan if this morning, right now, on a Monday, the weather wouldn't be nice. But let's hope, yeah, they're gonna do something. Did you do already some timings in the first round, or? No, I've not timed anything. Oh, okay. Did you do timings? 701 or something. 701? Okay, that's already faster than 709, that's good. Probably sub-7 naturally aspirated. The only naturally aspirated? Hmm, well, you can argue for the Lamborghini Huracan, but I still stand by my point, even like two years ago, that the Performante, it was probably a GT3 car or something, because everyone who's driven Performante so far, they say impossible. No, but yeah. Forget about that, today we're talking about Porsche and about food shots. Yeah. Currently it is almost 12. The por Porsche has the track till 12, so maybe they can do one more lap. Maybe not. We will find out. Okay, something's coming. Stay behind the barrier, guys. <laughs> just about. Look, 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 just behind. Well, my camera's ahead of the barrier, is that what? <laughs> now. Holy cannoli! I like it how like with the GT2 RS I was the only person, now it's like people coming with camping chairs. We should, well, not we, because we cannot commercialize it, but Nürburgring maybe should sell tickets to attend lap records. <laughs> Dear Nürburgring, I know you're watching. Just an idea. Yeah. Instagram going wild. It's too low. Yeah, too low. Using all of the track. There you go. Oh, he's getting his camera ready. Mm -hmm. Some lens. What for? I don't know, but it's coming up here. Are you coming to tell us it's gonna go even faster? Uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, could you come closer maybe with your phone so we can like time it from here? <laughs> <laughs> no. Ah, <laughs> oh, no. Well, probably like. Half a second or a second? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, he went over the curb, huh? Yeah, exactly. Uh, a bit too, too much. Too much. Mm. Okay, lunchtime, and I heard that it's not over yet for today's records. Apparently, Corvette ZR1 is coming. Marshall car going out to see if everything's okay with the track for the next user. Or should I say player? Player 2 has joined the game. <laughs> well, not yet. But uh, that gives us time to have some dessert. <laughs> Problem when you're eating stuff like chocolate croissants, you miss the important shots. But it's just a warm-up lap. <laughs> there you go. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, cameras ready, timer ready. Sounds well. Mm -hmm. Even with the silencer. <laughs> <laughs> Let the games begin. Just a little detail. Never cream sticker. It's and the Michigan license plate. It's complete it. <laughs> you know, it takes four seconds off your lap time. <laughs> mm, just a warm up. Seven minutes. Oh my god. Bro. <laughs> You're going to get killed then. <laughs> <laughs> he just doesn't care. Well, it's a perfect, you know. It's cold, it's cold. He had it perfectly timed. Yeah. He's like, I got this, bro. I've been doing this for decades. So good. Oh. Player 3 has joined the game. Yep. Hmm. 
Same as last. Yeah. And? Hmm. A little bit of misfire, maybe. A little uh -huh. bit of action, too. So. <sighs> so. Hmm. Probably wasn't happy and just killed it. Hmm. The E truck has come on the track, marshals are going there, so I guess that's it for the private sessions. Now we're gonna continue with the industry pool. Well, I guess no proper sub 7 today for the ZR1, unfortunately. But some impressive timings for the GT3 RS Mark II. Well, let's continue our day and see you guys tomorrow evening for dinner with lap records. And as the normal industry pool session is about to commence, we can see life starts to happen at the Oh, look at that, the new Supra. Yeah, what I was saying, life starts to happen at the BMW M Test Center. Looks like a new 3 Series. Uh, and yeah, the new Supra, there another one. Oh, exciting day, exciting day. Oh yeah. Who wants to experience the Nordschleife like never before? Come to Apex. Okay, the McLaren is out for some warm-up laps and the BMW is going for a first test lap because we did another setup change, some different tires to test with as well. So let's see for the feedback. McLaren is back and for today we have something special. There, there are four guys. One of them is named Tal. They are from Israel and their friend is getting married soon. So they have a surprise present for them. They said, oh, cool car, let's have a look at it. And they're gonna put their friend in the passenger seat, but we're gonna tell, the, tell him you can only sit in it if you sign the form because in case you scratch the seat or something, you're liable for it. And by the time he signs, we close the door and we take off. Letting some pressure out. Yeah, it's a little high. So who wanted to have a, you said someone wanted to have a seat or something? Yeah, 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 make a picture. But you, you just need to sign it because like, just in case you sc scratch the seat. If you, yeah, if you scratch the seat by getting in the car or something, you know. Yeah, you're welcome. Nice. Thank, you. Thank you for uh, awesome nice presents. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's the K or? or? Wow. Wow. Your, your friends suck, right? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I got him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I've never seen him like this. Oh, Lara, could you step away? Because men sometimes cry when a woman cannot. <laughs> While the guys are fighting over who gets to sit in the front, I'm gonna do a couple of laps. My back is feeling better. I, by the way, visited uh, a doctor, yeah, a physiotherapist, a physiotherapist in Netherlands, uh, because I went to Holland. Um, it's doing well, it's doing fine. And as we're walking to the car, might as well do some car spotting, right? So, 991 Mark II GT3, very nice. Hmm, is this an M5? This looks very cool. Wow. Very nice. And then Megan, a Focus, a Dakar L3, an Aubergine or Eggplant GT3 RS, some AMG, some Evo. Nice. Oh, look at that. A Volvo D4 all wheel drive. Can go straight to Adenau Force probably. And lots of other cars. But now let's go in the A45. AMG. We went out in this particular car last year, all the way from Sweden. Yep, it was red last year, in case you remember it, but it was a wrap, so now you took it off and left the side skirts red. Oh, that, I, that's very, very creative to put yeah. the suction cup on the screen. That's awesome. Yeah, now I get why they make, put the screen there. Wow. Everyone is complaining about it. Wow, actually, wow. 
I'm impressed. Learn something every day. Okay, let's do some laps. Some extra bit of car spotting for today. S13. Used to be my like dream car. And looking at how the prices are doing right now, hmm, might be actually a good daily even, I would say. Well, the sun is setting down, the track is closed. What can I say? It's been a very good day. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And that's it. See you guys tomorrow when... We don't know. I guess maybe second attempt of GT3 RS Mark II. Maybe, hopefully, 919. You will find out in tomorrow's video. See you then. Bye-bye. Tim's content. <laughs> Tim, do you want to see two frogs mating? They're, they're right but there. they're in love. It's right. cute. No, Who cares about BMW M test Santa I mean, look at that. I need some light here. Oh yeah. Oh look at that. Awesome. It's gonna jump and I'm gonna drop my phone. <laughs> oh sorry, vlogging. Nice food. That looks beautiful. Mm -hmm. Basically everything mm -hmm. is awesome here. Yeah. We are gonna do some prototype spotting. And well sometimes prototypes just come to you, they need to come to them. This is of course 488 pista. 